Hey everyone, welcome back. So I've got a cool little demo today regarding uh, the importance of kinematic support, uh, looking at it from a slightly different angle from how we usually do. I feel like a lot of the time uh, kinematic support and exact constraint design uh, gets taught from the standpoint of precision locating, for which it is extremely useful and important, uh, but it goes to beyond just locating, and I've got a neat little demo today showing uh, why it also can be applicable to support and why it's important for support. So here on the desk I've got this little uh, surface plate uh, on which I have an indicator set up uh, just going from one side to the other and it's supported on four rubber feet. Now what we're always taught is you know three-legged stool doesn't rock, a four-legged table is going to be statically indeterminate and there's multiple positions in which it can exist. Um, but practically a lot of the time what we get is elastic averaging where because of deformation uh, under load of some or all of the components of whatever we're looking at, you can have a situation where four Four feet are in contact at the same time, and here there's no rocking at all. It's, it's perfectly stable. These are semi-firm rubber feet. So those deform, and we have a non-rocking supported plate. So what's the problem? Well, let's say that this plate is our ultra-precision machine we're designing. We need this to be a super flat reference surface, so we've got an axis on there that needs to remain extremely straight. Uh, the issue we have is when you have something that's supported on an elastically averaged uh, setup, the position in which it sits and the shape of it is a function of the surface that it's sitting on. Because there is some deformation that is a result of the over-constraint state, if the shape of the base changes, base meaning like the floor or whatever your machine is sitting on, the load at the four support points gets redistributed because as the relative height under each foot changes, you know, you can think of each foot as a spring, the load at each foot will change. And if loads are changing at different points on the machine, the state of stress and the state of deformation will change in different ways. So you have sort of a coupling between the shape of your floor and the shape of your uh, machine base. Practically what that looks like here is we've got this indicator set up and what I'm gonna do is just put some force up and down the center of the desk here. We'll look at the readout. And you can see as I'm pushing this desk up and down, we're getting a reading on the indicator here. So we're looking at the top scale, and this is in microns, one, two, three microns. So this is an extremely small deformation, to be fair. But there's no doubt we are, of course, flexing the desk. But remember what we're reading, reading the, this metrology loop here. So that plate is actually deforming as I deform the desk over here. Kind of shocking and maybe not expected, but... Let's take a look now. I'm going to take this rod, which is a little bigger than the gap underneath the plate. I'm going to shove it in there. So now these front two feet are not contacting the table. We're supported more or less on three points. This rod here, and then the two feet in the back. So now it's not perfectly kinematic, but much more kinematically supported. The moment I do that, put the exact same load on the table here. And we'll look at the de resulting deflections. Up, down, up, down. Almost zero. Certainly less than one count or less than 0.1 microns. So immediately we lose that coupling uh, into the plate and any deformations of the floor or whatever the machine is sitting on are decoupled from the deformation of the plate. Simply because now that we have three feet the state of stress 
in the plate is more or less constant, even if the shape of the and the location of the three points, even if they move, unless it's like a huge gross tilt, um, it's not going to change the load seen by each foot and hence the stress in the plate. So kind of a neat little demo there. Um, just showing that kinematic support and exact constraint. It's not just for locating, it's super important for, you know, a lot of aspects of machine design. And here you can see why exact location of a machine base uh, helps for reducing sensitivity to your foundation. So, hope you guys found that interesting. Thanks for watching.